Bundy Parkinson keen to ensure giant killing remains in Tranmere's DNA. When it comes to giant killing, Andy Parkinson plans ensure it stays in the DNA at Tranmere Rovers. Parkinson, now youth team manager at Tranmere, played a key role when, under the guidance of John Aldridge, the club was the scourge of Premier League sides culminating in a League Cup final in 2000. Southampton, Everton, West Ham, Sunderland and Leeds United were just some of the top flight signs to fall at their hands. Like current manager Mickey Mellon, Parkinson was in the side the last time Tranmere met Tottenham in the FA Cup fifth round of 2002, though that proved a task too great. John Aldridge was a great motivator, says Parkinson. He desperately wanted to beat the big teams and his passion transcended to the players. I've seen Aldo but the wall break a finger and hurt his foot kicking a skip during some of his talks. He got so animated but it worked. He hated losing. We beat Everton at Goodison, Sunderland at home and came back from 3-0 down to beat Southampton 4-3. When we played Tottenham though they absolutely battered us 4-0. They had Teddy Sheringham, Leigh Ferdinand and Gus Poyot playing and we never got to grips with them. Parkinson did manage to beat Tottenham in a League Cup tie while later playing for Grimsby, but he recalls a wonder goal for Tranmere against Middlesbrough in the Worthington Cup quarter-final and the win over Merseyside neighbours Everton as particular favourites from a colourful career and singles out the moment he almost got Tranmere thrown out of the FA Cup. We were beating Sunderland 1-0 when Clint Hill got sent off and in the confusion I was supposed to be substituted by Stephen Frail. Instead of my number. The fourth official had shown Clint's, so I stayed on and we still had 11 men on the pitch. I said to Fraley, where are you playing? He said, right midfield and I said you can't be, that's where I'm playing and he said I know, you're meant to be off. Peter Reed, the Sunderland manager, was going mad and they tried to get us thrown out as a result but luckily we got through. Parkinson who was also in the same Liverpool FA Youth Cup winning side as Michael Owen and Jamie Carragher, hopes the past can continue to inspire the crop of players he is working with today. I look back on those times fondly and Mickey and myself try to foster that same fighting spirit and DNA into the young lads so that they can achieve those moments too. Against the odds the club is going places again. Hopefully the current side can give a new generation of players and supporters something to remember when they play Tottenham on Friday.